This is Survey 3D Best Fit. It is a dimensional control program for surveying vessels, construction projects, for fitting together total station data. And it was written in Python 2.7 and PyQt4. So I'm going to quickly show you how it works. You can load in your data, which is a set of points shot by total station. So let's look at this. So this here is a helideck of a vessel. So this large survey vessel, and this is the helideck of that vessel. Okay, well, we, we set the total station up and we shoot in all the points and we, we can calculate a 3D point for each one of these. Okay, so let's see where they are. All the points are very accurately measured relative to each other, but the problem is that we can't see the entire vessel from any one place on the vessel. So we have to move to someplace else and survey some more points. So if we uh, come here to a new location, all right, now we can see the back of the vessel, but we don't see that helideck anymore because you, it's just not visible from the same location. So we've moved the total station somewhere else and we're surveying the back of the ship. Now, how do we tie this in to, together with the helideck? Because the coordinates for the back of the ship are not in any way referenced to the coordinates at the front of the ship. So if I were to load in the front of the ship stuff and I load in this mobile points array, and I, if I was just to say, okay, copy those up to the static points array, I would have this crazy looking ship that doesn't fit together. The, the helideck needs to be rotated a little bit and put on the front of the stuff aft of it. So the way to do this is we'll load our static points here for the first set. And we'll call the second set mobile points. So we're going to move this second set of total station data so that it matches up with the first set. And the way I do that is I have these control points on the ship that I shot from both locations, both total station setups. Point 2001 and 1006 are the same point. So I can call them point one. So this is point one. 2002 and 1007 are the same point, so it's point two. 1046 and 2003. 2004 and 1005. 2005. I'm going to skip this one. I, I'm not sure if it's 10, 10, 12, or 10, 13. My notes were not as good as they should have been. 2006 and 1008. Number five. Okay, so once we've kind of co located our control points, which are just targets that we've set up on the vessel, we can click this Build uh, Adjustment Matrices button. A bunch of math happens, it calculates a least squares adjustment, and it tells me that if I were to adjust these mobile points to be in the same reference frame as the static points, the distance between point 2001 and point 1006 is point 0.003 feet, which is pretty good. That is about a millimeter. If I had a point was labeled, like I'm going to put this to zero, put this one to one. So now these two points don't match at all if I were to build the adjustment matrices. You see that everything is 50 feet, 12 feet apart. It's not good. So you know you've made a mistake. So you got a little quality control there as you combine these things together. These numbers look good. We're happy. It tells me my old coordinates and what they are now. So I say apply. And these coordinates have all changed, and this is flagged to be adjusted. Then I can move these up, and now I have all static points. Okay, so set 1, the 1000s, set 2, the 2000s are all adjusted, and they live together. So if I plot them now, you can see that the boat has the front and the back, and they are fit together correctly. So that's kind of the meat of it, and you just keep adding more and more sets. So if we were to look at all the things that I shot in on this boat with my total station, that would be sets one through seven, and it would look like this. So you can see we've built a really detailed model of this vessel. It's got all the important points that I need when I work on the vessel. The relative position of the instrumentation on the vessel is really important for positioning. And uh, there we go, that's the final product. Now I can do all kinds of other things like take several points and uh, define 
which one is, represents the bowel of the vessel, which one represents the stern of the vessel. So I'm going to say adjustments, rotations. This is called a gear rotation. I'm going to define the forward point. Adjustments, rotations, define aft. Okay, so I have a forward and an aft. If I plot my points now, you can see right here they lay, they uh, match really well with the x and y axis. But if I was to just pick two random points and make them forward and aft, I can uh, do this rotate thing now. They've got a forward and an aft point. All right, and now let's say I'll rotate them all. And if I were to plot, it's rotated the vessel. Okay, so I've got uh, my x and y are no longer correct. Okay, They're correct. All right, the other, other things I can do, let's just check that that's right, is I might have a pitch and roll sensor. So if I know that when I did my survey, the boat was pitched, a little bit. It's pitched up 20 degrees, so let's put in a minus 20 degree pitch and a zero roll, and it'll rotate everything. And there we go, we've pitched the boat down 20 degrees like that. And what we're doing in the end is we're going to have a nice coordinate system on our vessel. Lots of survey data fit together by uh, shooting in these common control points, and that, that's called dimensional control. And the uh, this program is a lot more, but I think that's the uh, basics of it.